Welcome to SAT 021. In this lesson, we'll be learning about trigonometry. Trigonometry is a very challenging topic for many students, but for the SAT, in order to do well in trigonometry, you just have to remember two things, and we'll cover them both in this video. So suppose we have a right angle triangle here. Let's call this angle on the bottom right corner, theta. And also the side opposite to the right angle, which is the longest side, is called the hypotenuse. And the side opposite to theta is called the opposite. Finally, the side next to theta, but not the hypotenuse, is called the adjacent side. Okay, and then we have to remember SOKATOA, which says sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, and cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, ka. Finally, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, toa. You can easily remember those three ratios using soka toa. Another rule you have to know for the SAT is called the complementary rule. Suppose you have a right angle triangle ABC and call angle A theta, then angle B would be 90 minus theta. And we know sine theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So in our case, it would be BC over AB. And by the same reasoning, sine 90 degree minus theta would be the opposite over hypotenuse, which would be equal to AC over AB. And we know cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. In our case, it would be AC over AB. And cosine 90 minus theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse. In our case, it's BC over AB. Notice both sine theta and cosine 90 minus theta equal to BC over AB. And that's our first part of the complementary rule, that sine theta equals cosine 90 minus theta. And then both sine 90 minus theta and cosine theta equals AC over AB. So sine 90 minus theta is equal to cosine theta. And that's our second part of the complementary rule. So to summarize, the complementary rule states that sine theta equals cosine 90 minus theta, and cosine theta equals sine 90 minus theta. Okay, now let's try a practice problem. In the triangle below, cosine y is equal to 0 0.8. What is the value of tangent x? Mm, we're given that cosine y is equal to 0 0.8. Remember that cosine y is equal to adjacent of a hypotenuse. So let's change 0 0.8 to 4 over 5 first. And therefore, the blue line is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. And tangent x is equal to opposite over adjacent. We have the opposite already, which is 4. And we can compute the adjacent side using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, 4 squared plus question mark squared equals 5 squared. And using some basic algebra, we can find that the missing side is equal to 3. And so tangent x is equal to 4 over three. Okay, let's try one more. In the right triangle ABC below, which expression is equal to the length of AC? Mm, okay, let's try the expressions one by one. Cosine theta is equal to AC over AB, okay? And since AB is equal to one, cosine theta is AC over one, which equals AC. And so, Cosine theta equals AC, therefore the answer is just A. Finally, let's try one last question. In the right angle triangle, one of the angle is X and cosine X is equal to five over 12. What is the value of sine 90 degree minus X degree? Hmm. We see both cosine and sine appeared in the question. 
we also see the expression 90 minus x. Both of those are synchronous for the complementary rule. So applying the complementary rule, we have sine 90 minus x equals cosine x. And cosine x is equal to 5 over 12 that's given. So the answer is just 5 over 12. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.